India's biometric program, Aadhaar, began with a promise to give every Indian a unique number that entitles them to citizenship rights and services. Nearly nine years later, many say that promise hasn't been fulfilled. Ram Narayan came to New Delhi five years ago with his family from Rajasthan. He got his biometrics card here, but other than helping him get a mobile phone SIM, he says it hasn't been much use. The government promised me I'd get a plot of land and a ration card for food, but so far nothing. It's let my family and I stay at this shelter and put my kids in school. And there are other concerns about the program. Even as Adar sign-ups continue, critics say their usefulness has diminished. India's Supreme Court has ruled that private corporations cannot demand customers' Adar info, though the government has recently passed a temporary order allowing companies to use it again. But that has added to concerns over data and privacy leaks. Hackers, journalists and others have exposed security flaws and earlier this year, domestic media reported the biometric numbers and personal information of millions of people could be bought on the black market. Critics say the program isn't living up to its promise. Never allowed that potential to be realized. But you were saying what are the Harsh Mandar says promised opportunities for the poor have been replaced by concerns over people's privacy, especially that of critics of the government. This whole biometric surveillance allows the government to, to have access to know everybody who, I, who am I talking to, what emails I'm sending, uh, what I buy, where I travel. And when the state wants to get back at me, it has uh, a huge amount of material at its behest. The government continues to defend the program, saying it's a benefit to all that will streamline bureaucracy and government services. Many of those the program was meant to help say the system makes them feel trapped and they're still waiting for the benefits that were promised. Fez Jamil Al Jazeera, New Delhi.